he's a member of himself or performing as a member of the Nelk Boys Collective, well, Steve will do it as easily one of the most popular personalities on the internet. Now, when he launched his solo YouTube channel some four years ago now, well, he shattered records as one of the fastest channels to climb to 1 million subscribers. Now, he's not only made a ton of people laugh, well, he's also made a ton of pretty famous friends. He's also given away more gifts and gigantic cash prizes than almost anyone else in the game. But now it seems like something is going wrong. Now, after a particularly busy past few months that would see Steve will do it beefing with little Dirk's lookalike, I'm talking Perkyo, what happened to him? Then he fell out with 6 9 only to become friends once again, all while squeezing in time for an interview with former President Donald Trump. That was on the Full Send podcast. Well, suddenly Steve's primary channel, it's facing a permanent ban on YouTube. What happened and is there any way Steve could get this channel to come back? Well, to find out, you're gonna have to stay tuned to our latest episode of Where Are They Now? And more or less, this is about where is Steve's YouTube channel? But hey, we haven't talked about him in a while on this channel, so let's see what he's been up to. Here we go. Also, if any of you guys are looking to become YouTube famous yourself, I've created a course titled How to Become YouTube Famous. There is a link down below. Be sure to check it out. About a thousand of you kids have signed up and it's been cool getting to know a bunch of you. Anyway, here we go. For real this time. Steve Will Do It was born Steven Delinardis on August 26, 1998 in OVA Dow, Florida. I know that because when he blew up, we actually interviewed his brother, or we were talking with him in the DMs. Anyway, now Steve, he got his start on social media sometime around 2017. Now back then, he used to partake in some early challenges and stunt work, usually involving him getting totally wasted on copious amounts of alcohol. Living up to his name, Steve proved that Steve will literally do anything. Go, Steve will do it, whatever it takes. And while he found some relative success early on via Instagram, it wouldn't be until Kyle Forgear discovered Steve's early clips online and believed him to be the missing piece when it came to Nelk's special brand of college entertainment. And it turns out, well, he was right. Steve had less than 1,000 followers at the time that Kyle brought him on, but all that was soon to change. Now, he's since gone on to appear in countless Nelk pranks and comedy bits, including some extremely popular viral videos, while also continuing to grow his own channel by creating a host of challenges and giveaways. Oftentimes, tying the content back into his humble beginnings as someone willing to do anything, like say, uh, eat 4,500 milligrams of THC in the form of edibles. Mm, what a kid. Now, of course, Nelk, they had always struggled with their main YouTube channel being demonetized. And during an interview with the New York Times, well, Kyle, he would tell them, every video we're swearing, we're doing some stuff that could be questionable or illegal. We're making sexual references or drug references. So we're making no money on YouTube at all. Now, luckily for them, they had already had the foresight to diversify their brand and earn revenue in different ways. Now, most of the group's income is from merchandise sales, advertising, and paid collaborations. And while there's a lot of noise out there in terms of just how much Nelk can earn on merchandise, well, estimates tend to pin it as much as $70 million a year. But even with that kind of cold hard cash rolling in, well, it's not always fun and games for Steve will do it. Being as outspoken as Steve aspires to be, well, it tends to make for some excellent comedy content, but it also is just as likely to ruffle a few feathers. Like that time in March of 2021, when he called out fellow YouTuber, David Dobrik. I'm gonna give him all to my mom. So basically this video is gifting my mom a million dollars worth of real estate, but I'm not gonna use that title because I'm not David Dobrik, I'm not a but here's the thing about Steve. Well, nine times out of 10, if he's seeming ticked off or riled up about something, well, it's probably just for show. It definitely was here because after going after Dobrik's fan base, well, Steve, he made peace of mind by buying David a brand new Tesla Model Y. In other words, the likelihood is that Steve, he cooked that beef up out of thin air just to capitalize on it later with new content. Now, this isn't unlike that time a few months ago where he uploaded a video claiming that he and his girlfriend, Selena Smith, well, they were expecting a child. Spoiler alert, they were not. My God, I, even I fell for that one. But hey, clickbaiting or misleading others is oftentimes how the comedy world works on YouTube. Take for instance, that time Steve, he reached out to the little Dirk lookalike Perkyo, only to then ambush him with Dirk's nemesis 6 9 Now I believe like Steve was an innocent bystander in all this, but man, it blew up in his face and it was a bad look for everyone. For a little while. I know it's gonna be viral, but it's about respect. I don't wanna trust his line. I don't wanna, yeah, I don't wanna do, any, do anything without his consent. Like, 
Crust is gorgeous. Awesome. Yeah. No, Perkyo, he definitely felt a certain type of way after that all went down. But Steve, he's such a gregarious guy that even when you're ticked off at him, well, he usually finds a way to fix it. And that's exactly what he did here. With Perkyo eventually taking to Instagram to let everyone know that Steve had done right by him. Not only did Steve give Perkyo some cash, he also hooked him up with some crypto for his family, as well as some new kicks and some ice cold Cartier bracelets. My God. Yeah, I'd say Steve's pretty good at knowing how to apologize, but he's definitely had a ton of experience at it over the past few years. But now he's facing a situation where no amount of gift giving is gonna smooth over things with the executives at YouTube. How the hell is he gonna get a Cartier watch for Susan Wojcicki? Wojcicki? Wojniak? She's my boss, I should know her name. Let's move on. This past year has been a busy one for Steve along with the other folks over at Nelk. And to cap it all off, well, they had former President Donald Trump on their Full Send podcast, which quickly became one of the most watched episodes ever in just 24 hours. Now, during the visit, well, Steve, he found a way to thank Trump for inadvertently helping him build his brand when Steve used to sell t-shirts that featured both their faces on it. So as a gesture of appreciation, well, Steve, he gifted the former president a $75,000 Rolex. Known as a Platinum Day Dates, well, this brand is among the most expensive Rollies on the market, and it's even more valuable than the gold models. Now, Trump, he loved the gift, but unsurprisingly, he also went off on a tirade on how the election of 2020, it was stolen from him during the interview. Now, this violated YouTube's terms of service, and uh, well, after the interview racked up about 5 million views in no time at all, well, it was then taken down by the platform within a day. Now, the thing is, this is just one strange instance of many that have hit the Nelk boys recently. Now, in the weeks leading up to that interview, well, Steve, he would see his own YouTube channel shut down by the platform without any real reason given as to why. Now, this happened at the end of June in 2022, and Steve, he would reach out to the execs at YouTube, asking what their reason was. Now, it's unknown whether or not they ever got back to him, but at the beginning of August, well, Steve, he would post an image to his Instagram suggesting that the ban he's received, well, it was likely to be permanent. Now, of course, this isn't the only Nelk drama circulating the news. Uh, just a few weeks after the Trump fiasco, well, Bob Menery would be dropped from the Nelk Collective for nebulous reasons. In fact, Bob was like tweeting me out last night. My God, somehow I'm mixed up in all this. I guess I do make a lot of videos. As for what's going on with Steve's channel in particular, well, no one seems to really know, and that includes the other Nelk boys. Now, during a recent podcast episode, they discussed what was happening with Steve's channel while he was away trying to get the thing reinstated. It's just crazy. I mean, that was very shocking to us, and we're just, I just can't believe it, bro. Like, I just, it's devastating. It's pretty wild no that'd make me cry if my i'd be crying yeah, yeah, yeah. i'd be, be dead dead devastated man. now it's got a particularly sting considering the day before his channel was shut down well steve had just uploaded a video titled i spent five million dollars in this video now that's a lot of money to spend on a video and a channel that no longer exists now in the time since well steve he's been laying low his latest instagram post is still that notification from youtube about violating community guidelines and there it sits all alone to his 3.6 million followers now fans are speculating that it was his frequent collaboration with gambling website stake which forced youtube's hand well to shut down his channel i've heard some other rumors that it's something to do with nft or crypto but we won't know for sure until steve tells us exactly what has went down so will steve ever get his youtube channel back well i got a feeling that the nelk boys they know enough influential people to make this happen and if you like this video well be sure to subscribe because the next one we're dropping i'm about to film right now it's on none other than bob menery so i'll see you guys in that one and this one i'm nervous to film because legit last night the guy was tweeting me out he's pissed <laughs> i didn't do anything i just report the news see you guys in the next video